Are you wondering as to whether you are spiritually awakened? Are you feeling confused or unsure about your spiritual progress? In today's video, we are going to explore signs and symptoms of spiritual awakening and progress according to various sages and scriptures of Sanatan Dharma. We will go through the words of Swami Shivananda, Ananda Mahima, Swami Krishnananda, Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, Swami Vivekananda, Swami Yogananda, Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi, Jagadguru Adi Shankaracharya, and various scriptures of Sanatan Dharma like Bhagavad Gita, Upanishads, Yoga Shastras, and Samhitas. Now, without any further delay, let's get started. Signs of spiritual progress as explained by Swami Shivananda Peace, cheerfulness, contentment, dispassion, fearlessness, unperturbed state of mind under all conditions indicate that you are advancing in the spiritual path. Is your interest in inner spiritual activity and sadhana increasing day after day? Does spiritual life mean to you a matter of great delight, transcending the joy of the worldly pleasures? Do you feel certain that your power of discrimination and light of thought have been steadily growing? Has there come into the conscious activities of your everyday life the awareness or inner conviction of all-pervading divinity? If your answers to all these questions or to any one of them are in the affirmative, be absolutely sure that you are progressing speedily in the spiritual path. Signs of Spiritual Progress as explained by Ananda Mahima if someone does something bad, you feel nothing but affection and benevolence towards him or her. To criticize or to feel hostile towards anyone harms oneself spiritually. The positive proof that one is centered in God is that he ceases to hate any person or object. Qualities of love, forgiveness, patience, forbearance go on increasing in him. An aspirant does not indulge in useless conversation or gossip, but speaks only when it is really necessary. Trying repeatedly to reach your spiritual goal, persevering and not relaxing your efforts so long as realization does not come. Signs of Spiritual Progress as explained by Swami Krishnananda Not keeping anything which you will be afraid of showing to others, not doing anything which you would not like others to know, having no secrecy except in regards to one's sadhana, we can judge our spiritual progress by the extent to which we are free from seeing defects in others. The more we grow, the narrower does become the eye which sees defects in the world. Not condemning the heat when the sun burns, rain when it pours, or food when it is not to taste. The effect of one's reading and learning can be seen in one's behavior. If the behavior has not changed, it means the learning acquired is like water poured over a rock, which wets only the surface without allowing the water to seep inside. Signs of Spiritual Progress as explained by Sri Ramakrishna Making your mind and words one, basically being honest, truthful and having integrity in your thoughts and speech. The renunciation of lust and greed, of wealth, material gains, etc. Increase in love towards God and dispassion towards worldly objects and material pleasures. Serving others with the idea of serving God or realizing Godly presence within others. Science of Spiritual Progress as explained by Swami Vivekananda As and when a person goes on becoming more and more unselfish, he or she is progressing spiritually. Unselfishness brings a person closer to God because God is unselfishness itself. When a person is becoming more mentally calm and serene, less violent, more sympathetic to other people's suffering, he or she has been growing spiritually. This unselfishness is the test of religion. He who has more of this unselfishness is more spiritual and nearer to Shiva. Truth, purity and unselfishness are the key signs of spiritual growth. Signs of Spiritual Progress as explained by Paramahamsa Yogananda An increasing peacefulness during meditation, a conscious inner experience of calmness in meditation leading to increasing bliss. 
a deepening of one's understanding and finding answers to one's questions through the calm intuitive state of inner perception and increasing mental and physical efficiency in one's daily life love for meditation and desire to hold on to the peace and joy of the meditative state in preference to anything else in the world an expanding consciousness of loving all with the unconditional love that one feels for his own dearest loved ones signs of spiritual progress as explained by bhagwan ramana maharshi the degree of freedom from unwanted thoughts and the degree of concentration on a single thought are the measures to gauge spiritual progress calmness is the criterion of spiritual progress the more you get fixed in the self the more other thoughts will drop off by themselves today we may think every 5 hours oh i have forgotten to meditate tomorrow we may remember every 4 hours the day after every 3 hours in this way enthusiasm for meditation will slowly come if this is happening then you are certainly growing spiritually signs of spiritual progress as explained by adi shankaracharya adi shankaracharya has laid emphasis on fourfold qualities or sadhan chatushtaya those qualities are viveka or discrimination is a firm conviction that brahman alone is real and the phenomenal world is unreal vairagya or detachment is the desire to give up all transient enjoyments gained through seeing hearing etc mumukshutva the intense longing or desire for liberation and then shat sampatti or set of six qualities which are explained as shown shama is the control of mind dama is control of the senses uparati is cessation of worldly activities being free from external influences titiksha is control of passions and includes endurance samadhan is single pointedness of the mind to reflect on the spiritual truth Shraddha denotes faith in the master and the scriptures. So if you see all these qualities increasing in you to some extent, then know that you are growing spiritually. Signs of spiritual progress as explained by Lord Krishna in Bhagavad Gita. One is not disturbed by the three types of miseries given by one's own body or mind, given by others and given by deities or nature. one remains free from hankering in the presence of plentiful opportunities for sensual happiness and is free from attachment fear and anger one is always devoid of mundane affection and neither rejoices in prosperity nor despairs in adversity one can completely withdraw his senses from their respective sense objects at will just as tortoise withdraws its limbs into its shell Only those who give up all desires and who wander free from hankering, false ego and possessiveness attain peace. Humbleness, freedom from hypocrisy, non-violence, forgiveness, simplicity, steadfastness, self-control, dispassion towards the objects of the senses, absence of egotism, keeping in mind the evils of birth, disease, old age and death. non attachment absence of clinging to others even mindedness amidst desired and undesired events in life constant devotion towards god an inclination for solitary places and an aversion for mundane society constancy in spiritual knowledge and philosophical pursuit of the absolute truth if these qualities are growing in you then you are advancing spiritually Now we will explore signs and symptoms of spiritual growth and progress in the path of yoga from various Hindu scriptures. The precursors of perfection in yoga, they say, are lightness and healthiness of the body, absence of desire, clear complexion and pleasantness of voice, sweet odor and slight excretions. When the body becomes lean, the face glows with delight. Anahatnada manifests and eyes are clear body is healthy bindu under control and appetite increases then one should know that the nadis are purified and success in hatha yoga is approaching in the arambha a yogi's body becomes divine 
glowing, healthy and emits a divine smell, the whole of his heart becomes void. When the Brahma Granthi in the heart is pierced through by Pranayama, then a sort of happiness is experienced in the vacuum of the heart and the Anahat sounds like various tinkling sounds of ornaments are heard in the body. From the perfection of Pranayama follows decrees of sleep, excrements and urine. The truth perceiving yogi becomes free from disease and sorrow or affliction. He never gets putrid perspiration, saliva and intestinal worms. Now, I have read some spiritual masters talk also about spiritual awakening, progress and they mention some practical points of spiritual growth as well, which are also in sync with my experiences. Over time, you will notice your compulsiveness or the reactions to the world start to decrease, as in the negative reactions like anger, depression, irritation, passion, jealousy, unhappiness, fear about the things in the world, all of them decline in frequency, intensity and recovery time. Frequency Reactions won't happen more often. If you used to get depressed every month or every week, now it won't happen so much. Once in a while, you may feel depressed but not so often, so the frequency will go down. Intensity will go down as well. Earlier it used to be deep depression. Now you will just feel it to be a twinge of unhappiness. Or earlier you used to fly into rage mode. Now it's just a flash of irritation. That's progress. Recovery time will also go down. Earlier a depression or a spell of anger would last very long. Maybe for days or weeks. But now it comes and goes. Maybe you feel it briefly but it's gone after some time. That's the sign of progress. To summarize, when you grow spiritually, negativities or negative feelings, emotions will not be as frequent, they will not be as intense and you will recover and get out of them much faster compared to earlier. Many thanks for watching the video. If you are feeling spiritually lost or demotivated, we recommend you watch this video. If you like our videos, please don't forget to hit the like button. If you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. It will also help us grow and spread this timeless wisdom of Sanatan Dharma to everyone else.